Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new post bag. Now in this video we're going to yeah, open all these stuff. I ordered them on the 11th of October and I am very very excited to see what's inside these items. Of course I already know but I'm very excited to unpack them. So let's open yeah, one right immediately. Actually, let's start with the smallest one. Let's start with this one. It's yeah, rather small, but that's okay. So let's grab the knife out of its little box. And let's go ahead and open it. Now, yeah, I think we can just safely Got it right here. There we go. And we can throw this away. Oh, nicely packaged. Really nicely packaged, actually. So I uh, ordered these uh, because of a uh, big speaker that has a broken connector and. Uh, this should be exactly the same. So they do offer a possibility for you to put in a... F they even provided a fuse. Wow, that wasn't on the listing. Look, there's just, just a fuse inside there. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's really amazing. So at what thing is the fuse connected? It's connected to the live which is good so there's a fuse in all of those uh, holders fused I'm not sure if I would trust this fuse but yeah it's fused wow so these are ready to assemble oh the connector or the switch came out so uh, you can just push that out oh nice well okay cool uh, so an earth connection of course I should expect so really nice gives a solid click when it's on and off so yeah really like these so let's go on to the next one and I think that it shall be this one now that's actually Ooh. this is a combined postage package Ooh. oh that's nice so yeah well uh, <laughs> let's just open these Yes, yes. These are not combined, I just ordered two of them. And why, you may ask, well, one's for my dad, but don't tell him it's a little gift. So, I'm only going to open one. What's this? Well, I've always wanted this thing, because it's very easy to use it requires no interference with the circuitry and you can measure well, almost instantly this is an m meter clamp or a current clamp wow it's small i was expecting it to be a little bit bigger but it's small so again current clamp uh, with uh, AC detection so I'm not sure how that works we're going to figure it out now so let's open it I'm curious if there are batteries included but I think they're not but we'll see how do I open this without scratching oh, there we go the device Like so. 
there no there is no thing on the screen which is fine so two triple a batteries they are not included oh it's even look there's a magnet inside here yep so let's grab uh, some batteries and fire it up I am not sure if these batteries are any good, but I guess we'll find out. They are. Cool. So let's put this one back. And yeah, well, the, the, the meter comes with its own wires, its own leads. And it's rated, I thought it was CAT 2. Cat 3, 10 amps. Well, we won't be using the amperage through these wires. They are not silicone wires, but they do have a nice protective end cap. Yeah, that doesn't fit over there, of course. And well, they just appear to have a screw. I guess that's for grip, not sure. Wow. English. Yeah. Cat 2, 600 volt, and these are rated Cat 3, 1000 volts, a kilovolt, but I wouldn't trust these. I would most definitely not try them out with a kilovolt, because they feel rather cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not operate the meter around explosive gas, vapor or dust. Yeah, well, I think that's common sense. To avoid false readings, which could lead to possible electric shock. To avoid false readings, which could lead to possible electric shock or personal injury. Yeah, they mean that in a way that if the meter uh, measures zero volt and you touch it and there's two kilovolts. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. There is a battery low indicator on this thing. Wow. Okay. Nice. So. Six is the NCV LED indication. Near communication field. No. Fields with an F of course. Uh, ah, yeah, that should be the uh, proximity detect feature. Present ten temperature non contact AC voltage detection. One special front LED lighting for indication of, of over AC 100 volt without directly contact. It is English, English. You can understand it, but it's uh, it's understandable, but it's not uh, perfect. So yeah, let's turn it on. Zero. So. It has a backlight. Wow, you can't really see because of the lighting. But it has a backlight. It doesn't detect if the clamp is open, which is okay. Oh, look over here, NCV. So, what is it actually detecting? It's detecting the 5 volts from my... light yeah it is detecting a live wire and the detection thing is over here so yep if we use the other clamp like so it doesn't detect yeah this it detects now it doesn't detect. so this is 5 volts going into here. It's pretty sensitive then. It's, wow. 
So let's measure the amperage. You can only measure AC amps. I was expecting it to actually also be able to measure DC. Well, that's a, a bit of a bummer. I was actually expecting it to be able to measure DC uh, amperage uh, as well. So I looked it up on the interwebs and this indeed is only an AC current clamp. And I don't think that I'll be able to test it. Because you need to actually um, only connect one wire and not both. But we are able to test the voltage accuracy. So let's connect this. It's at auto. Zero volts is zero volts, which is good. Now let's measure the AC voltage. It takes a while, but it's measuring correctly. That's, uh, yeah, I'm not able to put enough pressure on the leads. Yeah, this is about right. You know, what to expect for a, a meter of, what was it, 11 euros or something? I mean, yeah, uh, but yeah, it should also measure DC, obviously. So let's measure DC. So I've got my lab bench power supply set at 22.9. Now it's not really accurate, my lab bench, so fuck, it's really accurate. Okay, well, uh, I always thought that my lab bench power supply didn't exactly supply the voltage as requested, but it does, and it's spot on. Nice. So, the Hertz mode, so I guess that's used to measure frequency of a signal. Oh, that's also uh, spot on, 50 hertz, well, a little bit more, but okay. 50 hertz, which is ah, what we'd expect. So it's a pretty damn good meter, this, uh, this thing. And of course, oh, you've also got a resistance, capacitance, diode and continuity mode. And you change between them with the use of this set button yeah I would most definitely purchase other leads because I do like that this one also lights up it's not really quick but it's also not very slow so let's when you really press them together, press them together, it's okay. But if you don't, you know, let's use my gold-plated lead from my EEV block multimeter. Let's see what they are capable of with this thing. Maybe it will provide an even better response. Not sure. Yeah. Response is not quicker, but the contact uh, resistance most definitely is lower. So again, I would really recommend purchasing uh, new leads. This is a side difference for those that uh, want to know it. Uh, these don't really go all the way down. Well, uh, it didn't mess up the reading, so yeah, that's okay. Now let's put this aside. 
So yeah, that should be about it. Let's measure the resistance of this wire. Kilo ohms. Zero. Zero point one ohms. That's uh, about correct. Now I don't have a uh, specification resistor, a spec resistor with a, a precision resistor. I don't have those. So, can't test it. Uh, what else? We've got the, what, the diode. Yeah, that's, you know, pretty basic stuff. So, again, for the uh, price point of this thing, I would consider it a good purchase. It's a shame that it doesn't have DC current uh, measuring capabilities. But, again, for the price of this thing, it's, yeah, what else would you expect? But... It would allow for me to create a new video with a current clamp meter with DC specifications, DC measuring capabilities. So, oh, forgot the manual here. So I'm going to uh, actually give this one away as a birthday present and give the other one to my dad. Yeah, you know, because why not? On to the next one, which is a combined package. So we should have a lot of packages dropping out of this one. Let's check. Is it open? It is. Yes. Oh, I do have to blur this out. So this is blur, uh, blur party. So let's start with this one. What's this? Empty. Nice. So I'm really curious what this is. I know a little bit. I I, I do know what I've ordered. Ah, these are this uh, LEDs. I ordered LEDs, but I don't think I ordered these. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, these are the ones that I ordered. Now, obviously, my uh, these are for cars, and I am against LED. Well, not against. I don't think that's looking particularly pretty uh, to use LEDs on a old car that hasn't been designed to use LEDs, because it it gives a really messed up look and feeling. Uh, but I still ordered these uh, and I'm hoping that these have a very warm light output so that you won't really spot that it's not an LED but you will get increased light output performance. So let's test it. Let's not put this one on 23 volts. I think that uh, that will most probably kill the LED. So 12 volts, doesn't need a whole lot of current, I guess. I think that this is the, the negative. And this is the positive. Oh wow. Yeah, that is a, a wow. This is exactly what I meant. This is what I wanted. It's LED, it's great visibility, but you won't have the whiteness of a uh, regular LED, so you won't, uh, you know, attract attention. I just want it to look normal, but I know that it's an LED, but I want to, wanted it to look normal. Mission succeeded. So let's try this one to make sure that it's working. Oh, this one is a little bit brighter, I think. Oh no, they're, they're the same. So the other thing that I'm curious to know, what is the resistance of these 
LEDs because my car is equipped with the system that detects if a light bulb is dead and I don't want it to constantly moan at me like your light bulb is dead, your light bulb is dead my light bulb is not dead, it's just an LED and you're not designed to measure LED things and I think that there is no that's a good and a bad thing oh no there is But I don't think that this is a... Could be, could be. I'm not sure. I need to work this out if the resistance is uh, matching. So let's actually work it out. I'll use a little calculator. Uh, so the thing was at 12 volts times 7 milliamps, so 0.84 watts. So resistance power is 0 0.84, 12, 0 0.84, 0 0.84, 12, calculate resistance should be 171 ohms. But 171 sounds like a value that's about right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's just put them inside my car and see what it uh, it says to me. If it tells to me, oh, your light bulb is dead, and your light bulb is dead, then I won't use these. I will try to find others that have a yeah, dump resistor inside them. I'm against dump resistors, but also not because you, you know you're wasting energy, which is just yeah, it's a waste. But yeah, I don't really want to code out that function of my car. So let's tr open this package. Well, actually, I've already opened it up. What's this? It says UV. Oh, hey. Yeah, I ordered a UV flashlight. I thought it's finally time to have one. So let's order it. And, well, here you go. So black light. I don't know what battery to use, but it actually looks like I can fit an 18.6 double A battery inside uh, this thing. So one double A, I'm guessing that you put it in like this, so with the positive facing upwards. Oh, it's already on. It's not the brightest actually. So maybe the battery is just a little bit low. Whoa! Oh, you have the, the option to zoom. Wow. Well, uh, let's actually turn off these uh, lights. Uh. Look. Well, I think that it's okay, brightish. Well, especially on this. This, <laughs> this is really. Well, of course, there needs to be something fluorescent on the surface, and I do not have that. But damn, it's it's really intense. So yeah, great, really great. I was uh, looking forward to this. So yeah, on to the next one. I suggest a box. Well. Let's open this box up. XL, LG, well, let's just cut this thing and... Hey, yes, 
and this is a universal LCD charger. Yeah, you can recharge your LCDs with this thing. <laughs> wow. So this is a coin cell charger uh, to recharge your coin cells. Now it plugs directly into the mains. Wow, okay. Yeah, it, it just recharges your coin cells. That's how simple it is. And there is a coin cell in this thing. I'm not sure if it's rechargeable, but we'll just find it out, right? Because that's what we're all about. Just finding things out on this channel. And I now do need to find out a way to get power onto my desk. I do have this thing. Well, I guess that this will work for now. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I think there's missing a cap or something, but it's why is it showing me that the battery is full? Is it full? Let's measure it actually. Because if it's full, then my uh, digital caliper is dead. No, it's not really full, I guess. But maybe this isn't rechargeable. Or maybe you need to uh, put two batteries inside here. That might be an answer. Well, yeah, just remove this. I'll, uh, I did order batteries listed as rechargeable, but they're not here yet. They didn't come. Uh, come with the combined shipping so yeah they're simply not here and when they arrive i will make an update video with this thing because i think this would save me a lot of well not money but it does save me a lot of time where i actually need to measure something and my caliper is dead like it's just right now but maybe that's a caliper issue so Ratio of this thing is coming up. We can open it. If I can find my Philips, there you go. Screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's glued together, I guess. Yeah, we can. Oh no, it's with clips. There we go. So it's there's a USB output as well, which is cool. Uh, yeah. This is just a very basic cheap as AC to DC thing with without any isolation so <laughs> uh, okay let's just put this back together it lives up to its price point well I think this actually was not that cheap I think this was originally be expensive for this uh, thing all right so Video of this one coming up when I actually receive the items, the batteries. Right. So next up is this one. Now this is a rather big package, and this is oh yeah, this one. Yay! I can finally listen to music in my out in my car. So I've got a car that uh, has a tape de deck and a. A CD changer and it doesn't have Bluetooth and I think that Ferrari did not really license the use of their car and I also think that Mercedes didn't either so 
I ordered this one and this is supposed to be a stereo tape converter thing which yeah again I'll just test it but I needed something for reference because I'm making my own and I need to know uh, yeah how to actually uh, insert this into the car uh, in which direction the head needs to go so I bought this one which uh, yeah nice so I'll, uh, I'll test it and uh, I think that these gears are rather noisy so then again I won't be using this I will only be using this as an example so so the next one not the final one but we're getting close unfortunately this one so let's uh, see what this one is Oh, these are the bigger LEDs that I've also ordered. And I'm suspecting that these do have a resistor that lets the car think that it's a regular light bulb. No, they don't. Or the resistor is behind a smart switching circuitry, but I don't think that's the case. So again, let's uh, power these up and see what the actual temperature of these lights are. They are not terribly bright, but then again, they are not really dim actually so I am going to do a test uh, to see how hot these get because I don't want LEDs that actually reach thousands thousands of degrees inside my car <laughs> that's not really uh, the idea behind these things so yeah nice 12 volt LEDs to be used inside my car really uh, like them actually actually we have two more items whoa yeah, I need to blur that out I was that excited that I just threw it on the desk so this one this is an update of a previous video of mine or oh, I will do an update of a previous video of mine as promised I'll attempt to replace and be able to reuse the Fitbit from a previous video and for that I actually needed to order a new screen so I did here's the screen <laughs> it lists brand instead of Fitbit I'm not sure if you can see that due to the lighting but it lists brand instead of Fitbit let me take it out Wow That's really funny. Now obviously they cannot use Fitbit, Fitbit on their screens. Oh, come on. Since that would probably cause Fitbit to go uh, a bit angry on them. If they aren't already. Now this was hard to find. When I finally found it, I and I thought I needed I knew what to look for it was really hard to find look it lists brand there's the camera brand yeah so this time I will be gentle with the connections so again I'm um, yeah making an update video where I replace the screen of the Fitbit. So, let's continue because I think that this was almost all of it but we still have one left and this is the one I am most excited for. 
I have never seen such a shiny packaging material. And yeah, you know, uh, good quality product will come in a good quality package, right? Well, um, we're about to find out. This knife. Hey, this is an ultrasonic cleaner. I've always wanted one of these things, and I finally found a reason to buy them. Mainly, no reason. No, just kidding. So let's unpack this thing. Yeah, we don't need that. Just throw it away. Ooh. Watch out for my little plant that's hidden beneath all the boxes. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it's like someone shaved their pubics and put them <laughs> inside a plastic mold. <laughs> it's really... Uh, I would have chosen a different case. <laughs> wow, now yeah, that's not... But the solder, solder joints look okay. Microcomputer intellect control. Double oscillation pattern for choice. Intellectualized time hypothesis. Countdown automatic close down. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. They did not <laughs> remove the protective metal thing which is ugly and I will be removing wow nice so to be really honest it, this actually looks decent it, it's actually it feels like it could work now I most definitely want to remove this from the inside because I'm not sure what kind of effect this will have on the materials we put in and if it will loosen up over time due to the ultrasonic vibrations so let's actually turn this on now I hope I picked the 230 volts model it isn't listed anywhere so what could go wrong right it's listed on the It's 40 kilohertz, which is uh, good, because uh, if you need to clean your glasses, you don't want to be below uh, 35 kilohertz, otherwise you risk destroying your glasses. And yeah, I will be cleaning my glasses with this thing. That's one of the things that I bought it for. So yeah. Now. I'm not really sure what liquid I need to put inside this thing. If you do if you don't put enough water in the flume, it can't be electrified to use. Well, water be electrified? Damn, that sounds scary. Now let's turn it on and actually see what happens whoa yeah this is chinesium at its best right <laughs> this is really yeah so it has two modes 30 and 50 watts yeah. that's it does it have a timer single power let this play press the required power button each time you press Add one minute to the cleaning time. After setting, press the power button for cleaning. When you need to stop, press the power button again. So I guess that you need to push the uh, power. So how many uh, watts you need. And then you need to... Uh, I think that you need to press these. And you can uh, select the uh, total amount of time with these two and then press this one to start and stop so I do have something to clean 
I'm just looking for my distilled water, which I have. I don't think that this is 500 milliliters. So, yeah, that's pretty okay, I guess. Now, this is what I want to clean. This is a gearbox from my retractable shunt shade in the back of my car. And yeah, since my car is 20 years old, the uh, grease has hardened up. And I think that it's preventing the mechanism from really working. As you can see, it's also between the teeth or the tooth. And I yeah, just want to clean it out actually. So. Not hoping to get any rust on this thing. Because, yeah, that's not really uh, what I want. Let's just try these two first. And then we'll try the uh, the other one. So, of course, we want 50 watts. So, 50 watts. One, two, ah, three. So, the button is really good. this in as well I guess try to clean it right it does make an awful noise but yeah okay I mean you gotta you got to cut corners on some places well this wasn't particularly cheap Time's up. Oops. So it. Yeah, it looks clean, I guess. Let's look at this one. This looks still looks a little bit dirty. This is trying to look clean. Now let's try to see how this one cleans up after it's been in the bath. It does get a little bit warm, so that's something to consider. Let's put this inside here and let's also put this inside the box. I'm very curious how this is going to end up. So again press the button five let's do five minutes. So it's finished. Let's take a look. Oh, this. I don't think that it cleaned a lot of these things. These things, these things. And I did not also clean this. So we're just going to set this apart and put this one in. 
and see what it does to this one. Oh, I will be taking the spring out. So. Oops, like this. Let's do ten minutes. And in the meantime, I'll try to clean this one up. So Let's just stop. Stop this. Yeah. This needs cleaning. This is okay. I'm not sure if I left it behind like this, but it looks way more messy than it did. So, we've still got some things to clean. So this looks all okay-ish now. It did actually remove a lot of dirtiness, as you are able to see. Since the water is, yeah, it's all uh, messed up. It's not transparent anymore. So I guess that that will wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you do want to buy one of these products, please consider buying them using the links below. This will allow me to uh, make more of these awesome videos and, and still upload things in the future. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.